no problem. <laughs> we, got the, we got Sun Ho here. I just arrived. So many people, I think everybody in Cambodia he is here in Phnom Penh right now. Is that someone famous over there? I, don't know. <laughs> I just walked all the way down to um, basically from one end to the other. And yeah, it's a good collection of uh, exotic cars here. Uh, not as many as I thought there would be, especially since they're trying to break the world record uh, tomorrow in Siem Reap for the most exotic cars in, uh, I guess, in a car show? No, not car show. It's like. The most exotic cars at a temple? No, no, no. It's we call it take a pawn. It's like uh, World Wonder, I think. Uh, UNESCO, yeah, at the her UNESCO okay. site. So they're trying to break some kind of world record. Um, but that's tomorrow in Simrib at Angkor Wat. But I saw a good collection of actually a good mix of all sorts of cars there, even a Honda. I'm not sure what the requirements are. I thought that the entry fee was like a hundred thousand dollars to get in, but maybe maybe not for for this. Maybe you just have to know people. I mean, yeah, it's like you have you know you know you have the connection. Yeah, you can sneak in. You can, like, you can sneak in. Know, like. You just put a rev up Cambodia sticker <laughs> and a Gumball three thousand, and you're in. In a little bit, we're gonna be heading over to uh, Wat Batam Park, which is where the mega concert, the huge mega concert, is happening. Um, I actually, I think that's where the music's coming from. Okay, we made it over to Wat Batam area where the uh, concert's happening. It's just as crowded here, and there's actually a lot more uh, cars than I thought. It wraps around the entire uh, Independence Boulevard and then down the street. So um, I'll get more shots of the cars later. I'm trying to find my favorite car of the show. So uh, stick around to the end to see which one I thought was the best. Right now, I am uh, just wandering around, see if I can find any uh, of these so-called celebrities that are in attendance here. Apparently, I show speed is here and uh, some other, uh, a couple other famous YouTube streamers, but I haven't seen any of them yet. famous Porsche tuner from Japan was just recently here in Cambodia and he set up shop here built a bunch of custom Porsche for uh, a couple of the elites here if you are ready for Kampo, let me hear you make some noise. Kampo, I want to see one hand in the air. Yo, I think that's I show speed there in the mask. I was just standing out front there and the line just kept getting crowded. Just kept getting crowded and more crowded. I had to step out. And if one of these fools in these uh, exotic cars just steps on it and fishtails it, the people are going to get hit. <laughs> Okay, so that was Gumball 3000 day one here in Cambodia. Um, this, uh, this actually started in Saigon and it's on its way to Singapore. And as I said earlier, it's going to be in Sim Reap tomorrow. And then from there, I believe, 
of Bangkok. And it's driving south down through Thailand and then it makes, eventually making its way over to Singapore. But little uh, history about the Gumball 3000. It is the uh, brainchild of a uh, multi-billionaire, millionaire Maximilian Cooper who started this uh, Gumball 3000 with his, just a thing with his friends. And the uh, reason why it's named the Gumball 3000 is because they're, um, it was named after the Gumball Rally. If you guys know what that is, it is a, uh, well first of all it's a movie, but I believe the movie is based on a real uh, race, which is like a cross-country race in the U.S. called the Gumball Rally. And the reason why they called the Gumball Rally is because the winner received the Gumball Machine. And the Gumball 3000 was named after that uh, that movie or that rally, that race. And the 3000 is about how many miles they typically drive on these tours. And typically it goes through several different countries. But yeah, this is the first time it's come through Southeast Asia. Kind of big deal here. Kind of a big deal here in Cambodia, uh, especially with them trying to set the world record tomorrow at Angkor Wat. So I'm curious to see if that's even possible. It doesn't look like it right now. I mean, there's a lot of exotic cars here, but uh, I mean, half of them are just what I would consider luxury cars. But cool event, very cool event. Um, lots of lots of people, all ages. But man, it is all like concentrated in that one little part. It's just. It does, there's just not a good venue. It's so crowded in there. It's just all jam-packed in there. And then they got the, they got that lane with the cars driving through with the security just, I don't know, they don't seem like they're doing a very good job of, of handling traffic and the people. It's, they make people move back and they just move up forward. And for me, it was just like, I was just getting too claustrophobic in there. It's way too crowded. All right, across. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna head up. I'm gonna try and get to a bar across the street here. And I ran into my good friend Joe. Hi. Great to see you again. <laughs> just ran in, ran into her. And it's just so fucking crowded here that you can't see anything. All right. What bar are we headed to up there? Oh. Oh, they only let the girls in. No. Bye, ladies. <laughs> it's nice meeting you. <laughs> oh yeah, they're they'll be here all night. It's packed. We're up at the Jinda, the Jinda Sky Bar, and uh, there's nobody here but us, me, me and uh, Sabor, and, and Joe, and your friend. I don't know where your friend went. But yeah, we got a nice view up here. But now we're, we're like, I feel like I'm so far away from the action now. We're losing it. Yeah. Alright, well, um, I'm thinking that uh, I'm gonna call it a night here because it's just, I don't know, you can't see anything. There's so many people. And uh, see? And they're just yelling at nothing. Hey guys, I've just arrived in Sim Reap. Man, what a long ass drive. Uh, there was so much um, interruption because of the Gumball 3000. All along the way, uh, you had tons of people just waiting for the Gumball to drive through. And then they also had like uh, traffic uh, specifically, uh, um, they had traffic cops specifically for the Gumball 3000, just slowing everything down, but finally made it here. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to this hotel I'm staying at, the Chai Long Anko Boutique, which is located really close to Pub Street. Let me let me just show you what the rooms look like here. Uh, this is the main feature why I love it. Um, uh, this one, actually they have several of these family suites. I reserved this family suite because uh, I'm gonna be meeting up with my uncle and uh, his family. They should be here soon. Uh, but this one's connected to the even bigger suite. I got this one for them. And it has a little bed in the back for the kid. And it only cost me, I think it was right around $80 for, for this. So it's basically like $40 for each side. It's really clean, very, uh, very nice proprietor. Um, they have a restaurant downstairs. 
and there's also a uh, nice little swimming pool out here um, you know it's very small little boutique hotel really close to everything down in the pub street area but it's just far enough away that you don't hear all the noise so just wanted to give a shout out to this hotel if you're in sim reap and you're looking for a nice place to stay close to all the action check the link down in the description to the chai long uncle boutique Okay, we've made it to the event location at the Royal Independence Guard and it looks like um, a handful of cars are here now including Herbie the love bug from the original gumball rally and uh, we've got a uh, LaFerrari here beautiful beautiful car and I saw this car last night with the uh, Mercedes GT beautiful car I love that AMG GT Yesterday, I felt like in Phnom Penh it was kind of a clusterfuck. Uh, just so many people and it didn't seem organized at all. I think here in Sim Reap it's going to be a little bit better because it's just a bigger space and you're probably going to have less people. It's still going to be pretty crowded in my opinion, but um, it just feels like, I feel like Royal Gardens is better set up to have like a car show. Hi! Hi. Hi. We got a couple fans here. Hello! Hello you too. You guys enjoying the show? Were you in Phnom Penh or just here in Sim Reap? Here in Sim Reap. Here in Sim Reap? Okay. They recognize me instead of Patrick. That's a first. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it's Patrick that's getting recognized. Hi boys. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Enjoy your day. Yes, they're only putting the gumball cars on this side. Oh, uh, okay. And the uh, all the Khmer owned cars over there. Alright. So at some point you. I'll walk around trying to find my buddy. So Patrick said um, that there's there's a, the official gumball cars, right? And then and then that, those are these cars, and then there are the uh, unofficial gumball cars, which are just here for the Cambodian leg. Um, and and to get into that, you only need what's like five hundred dollars or something like that. Yeah. So. Uh, I saw. I was mentioning earlier how I saw so many like normal looking cars. And then that, that's why, because that was for the um, just the Cambodian portion from from uh, Phnom Penh to Siem Reap. So that kind of clears things up. But yeah, we're kind of here early, just scoping the thing out, waiting to see if there's any action. <laughs> They're beautiful cars, but uh, the fact that the owners really aren't allowed to do anything to them just leaves them kind of like plain looking. You know, I, I like a little pizzazz with my exotic cars. You know, that, that's a I'll take one of these, but you know, if you were able to like put a custom paint job or something else, some rims yeah, that look even doper. But you can't deny the simplicity of something like a Porsche GT3 in white. It's just a it's a beautiful car. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm very partial to Porsches. Of all the exotic cars, these two here are probably the most expensive. We got the Bagani and another Bagani. These are probably, uh, I don't know what the price tag on these are, but... Oh, I'm sorry, this is not a Bugatti, this is the Koenigsegg. Oh my god, these are like million dollar cars. Fucking badass. Jeez. Look how low that is. I have no idea how they drove this car here. That thing is sick. Two more Porsches. GT3s, of course. Oh, this is a beautiful color here. I love that. I'm having a car gasm here, guys. Ferrari GT3. There's a pretty cool uh, paint scheme here on this Lambo. You cannot reason with a tiger when your head is in its mouth. Ah, that's nice. It's gonna rain. Oh, great. 
perfect timing. But hey, at least the cars are gonna get a quick wash. They're all really dusty and dirty. That's what driving in Cambodia does to your car though. <laughs> Comes with rain. It just got like 10 degrees cooler. Yep. <laughs> Everybody's scrambling. Uh, I don't think this is gonna keep me dry here. Ah, screw the rain. <laughs> Patrick, what was your favorite car of the show? Um, I'm not sure, man. I think the Lamborghinis, I like the Lamborghini. I'm, I'm not a car person, so when I see a Lamborghini, I'm like, oh, it's a Lamborghini. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah, I, I um, spent my 20s mostly like, I was living the Fast and the Furious life. I had a house in the hood with a five-car garage. We'd hang out there every Sunday, all the knuckleheads with the uh, uh, souped-up Hondas and Acuras. And, we, we just lived that Fast and the Furious life. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, are we, what do we got here? We got some, some fancy exotic car. Oh, wait, it's a Mazda Miata. <laughs> wow. Fuck Godzilla right there. Spider-Man's here. Spider <laughs> What's up, Spider <laughs> hey, welcome to Cambodia. <laughs> Thank you. Hey okay, guys, welcome to Angkor Wat, the final leg of the Gumball 3000 here in Cambodia, right in front of one of the largest religious monuments in the world, Angkor Wat. Wow, I didn't see this guy before. Look how freaking, oh my God, look how loaded. Wait. This must be bad. <laughs> this is definitely bad. This thing is freaking low. Got that GoPro. I don't know. I love this Lambo. It's freaking beautiful. Damn. And the dirt on it actually uh, kind of works. I don't know. It has kind of this, uh, uh, this this look to it. This menacing look. Freaking nice. Look, you can't even fit a piece of paper under that. <laughs> I love the detail with the. Uh, the anodized rivets there that match the uh, anodized exhaust tips. I would love to hear what this sounds like. This thing's a freaking beast. Blacked out Lambo. What kind of Lambo is this? I don't know what kind of Lambo that is, but it's got a mean ass body kit. That's what I love about Lambos versus Ferraris that they can do stuff like that and not get in trouble. This McLaren's nice too. This is a very, very rare Porsche here, the Carrera GT. Absolutely beautiful. This thing here is uh, sadly what killed Paul Walker. And these things are freaking insane machines. They're very difficult to drive. You don't know what you're doing. It's got a lot of power. Damn! <laughs> Dean, mama. Look, may die. Yeah. P, P, muay tiet. Ma, nangai. I think these are the Cambodian, um, the Cambodian contingent of the Gumball 3000. 
I believe the official Gumball 3000 participants have like a orange Gumball 3000 sticker. Yeah. I'm surprised at how many supercars there are in Cambodia. Look at this. Yeah, oh, look at this. Porsche 911 GT3. Fucking nice. GT3 RS Porsche 911. Wow. Got the Cambodia plates. This is the kind of money that's floating around in Cambodia, guys. You know, Cambodia is kind of known as a uh, still developing country. But there are people with a lot of money here. I mean, McLaren. Look at that. I mean, they've got a Ferrari here. Here comes the official gumball group here. This is the one that's going on to uh, oh, Thailand yeah. and then eventually to Singapore. RWB Porsches. Look at the size of this freaking freaking back end. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's two chicks driving. Wow. cars there are. Um, I'm not gonna get every single one of them but just to give you guys an idea uh, of how many uh, how many exotic cars are in attendance. So I'm not going all the way out there this is kind of where the entrance is at we're starting right here where you got uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine you guys with my counting I'm just gonna count it and tell you guys how many cars when I get to the other end okay I made it all the way to the other side I counted about 150 cars I know there's a lot more because there's some that went through and I'm not walking all the way over there but I heard there's somewhere close to 300 cars here uh, that are part of the gumball uh, the gumball 3000 so that's quite a lot of cars uh, but they're not all supercars and all exotic cars like uh, there's Lambo here and there's McLaren and there are Mercedes and uh, um, BMWs and things like that here but yes there are a lot of cars here uh, but yeah it's just I don't know if it's gonna break the uh, world record I don't know what the world record is but that's what they're attempting here uh, so uh, yeah let me know in the comments if they actually did it or not because I don't know at this point uh, 
lots there's also a lot of people a lot of people and uh yeah it's a pretty uh, pretty uh, historic event regardless here in cambodia so really great to see uh, an event like this a uh, worldwide event put cambodia on the map Oh, jeez. Look at all these people. It's crazy. It's uh, kind of unhinged here. There's no, uh, there's no security or anything making sure people don't touch any of the cars. There's some pretty ladies here. It's a nice ad. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can just walk right up on these cars. It's crazy. Okay, there it is guys, the Gumball 3000 in Cambodia, ending here at Angkor Wat. Uh, they're attempting the world record for the most number of exotic cars on display. And I don't know if they've done it or not, but it sure looks like they might have. As far as uh, my favorite cars of the show, um, I don't know, I think it's going to be a, a, a tough one because there are a lot of really nice cars here but I think my favorites were the uh, all blacked out Lambo that was slammed, it just looks sick, uh, mean looking car and then of course I, I do love my Porsches and the RWB Porsches stole the show there. Um, you know, they're not really what I've considered like a supercar or hypercar, but, but they just are absolutely beautiful, unique cars, in my opinion. But that's it, guys. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite car was. And if you really want to help me and want to support my work and see more of these types of videos, please consider donating to my beer fund by clicking the coffee link down below. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.